broken bones. For a lot of people, breaking some bone or another kind of represents this point in time that they can always go back to in their minds as like a checkpoint for their childhood. And this feeling has always been interesting to me, as breaking bones has never been something that I have done. However, since I have never broken a bone, the things that I do remember as childhood checkpoints, injury-wise anyways, are a lot sillier than a broken bone here or there. My first major childhood injury that my parents or I remember is when I got my very first black eye. Now, it was the day before we were about to go on a cruise. And my parents were, you know, packing, getting ready, and I go into their bedroom, and their the setup is there's this bed, and there's these bookshelves everywhere, and so I go on the bed as the little child that I am, and I start jumping on it. And I'm having a grand old time, I'm having so much fun, I'm just jumping on the bed, and then I, I get off the bed, and then I look around, and I think for a minute. I'm like, huh, I wonder if anyone was wondering if I got a broken bone from jumping on the bed. Huh. But then, I decided to go back on the bed, and I decided that I was going to do a more impressive stunt than just jumping on the bed. I decided I was gonna cartwheel on the bed. So I get myself up there, I get myself in beautiful cartwheel position, and I go ahead and I cartwheel straight off the bed, right into the bookcase, right into the corner of a book that hits my eye. And I start crying like the little kid that I am. And my parents come rushing in and they're like, oh my gosh, are you okay? What happened? And I'm like, I cartwheeled into a bookcase. And they're like, what? I cartwheeled into a bookcase. And so they take me and they look at me and they're like, oh my gosh, you're getting a black eye. Oh no. And then we took care of it. We put ice on it. But we then had to go on the entire cruise with me and my black eye. And my parents having to explain every time someone asked, Hey, why does your daughter have a black eye? They always had to say those beautiful words, She cartwheeled into a bookcase. My second injury was to my tooth. And some of you may know about this, and some of you may not, because I hide it pretty well. But one of my front teeth, my um, right front tooth, top one, is actually chipped and has now a permanent filling. And so that happened when I was younger. I was biking around with my mom, and I saw this rock. And I thought, okay... Well, I can either just, you know, avoid it early and just, you know, go way to the side, or I can try to be cool and just barely miss it, you know, just be like, whoa, she did, she could have hit that rock, but she did it, and just, you know, make everyone proud of me who could see that, which would be like, what, me, uh, maybe a few ants, maybe a passing bird, but I decided that for the sake of those ants and birds, I had to do the coolest trick ever and just barely avoid this rock. So I go, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, and just as I'm about to make the turn, I hit the rock. And I go, and my bike flips forward and I fall to the ground. And my mom comes over, and she's, of course, going like, Oh, no, 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 what did you do now? Oh, no, 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 no. And she sees the broken tooth, and she's just heartbroken, because she also broke her teeth when she was young in a skateboarding incident. But to me, the only things on my mind is, darn it. Those birds and ants are going to be so disappointed now. Ugh, I've let them down. So we got home. 
we <laughs> went to the dentist and I went back to fifth grade um, the next day or the next day of school, something around there. And everyone was like, what happened to your tooth? And I'm just like, eh, you know, I tried to do a trick and I failed. And they're like, whoa, that's so cool. <laughs> and so I went around with this broken tooth for a few days before we managed to actually get it into the dentist appointment to get a temporary filling in there. And the interesting thing is that temporary filling was supposed to last about six months, you know? Just enough time for you to get back into the swing of your life and then realize that you have another dentist visit coming up and then give them all of your money so that you can get a better tooth. And so, you know, we, go, we go, went ahead and we waited the six months. And then we waited another six months. And then we waited another, you know, 42 months? <laughs> and essentially, eight years later, I'm sitting in high school taking my economics AP exam. And as I'm writing my answers, I go ahead and I sit here to think, and I rest my hand on my mouth like this. And all of a sudden, I feel this weird, empty space. I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I feel something in my mouth, and I'm like, what the fuck? What, what, is, what is that? What is that? And I, I take it out, and I look at it, and it takes me a second to be like, that's my tooth. Uh, no. <laughs> and of course, we're in the middle of an AP exam. And you cannot interrupt an AP exam because it is a nationally administered exam that if you interrupt, everyone's scores will be screwed up. And me, wanting a good score like the scholar that I am, decided not to tell anyone about that. <laughs> or at least not until the end of that part of the exam. So I just sit there and I have my tooth in one hand. <laughs> And I'm just taking the test in the other, and I finish it, and I just stare there at my tooth like it's betrayed me. After all these years, it just had to fall out now. And the testing period for the first part ends, and I go up to the teacher, and I say, Hi, my tooth fell out. And they're like, What? <laughs> Your tooth did what now? And then they look at me and they're like, oh my god, do you need to go to the nurse? And I'm like, it's fine, it's fine, it's just a filling from fifth grade, <laughs> it's okay. And they're like, are you sure? Just, just, oh, just take it easy, it's okay. And I'm like, alright. <laughs> and so I take my tooth and I go ahead and I like store it by my bag. <laughs> and I go out to the rest of the kids. And I go to them and some of my friends, and I'm like, hey guys, that was a really hard test. So hard, in fact. My tooth broke. And they're all like, wait, what? <laughs> you can just see the shock, and you're just like, wait, what? And I'm just like, yeah, my tooth fell out. And they're like, what? <laughs> and so after a lot of explaining to a lot of people, we go back in and we take the second part of the test. And I call up my dad, and I'm like, hey, dad, my tooth fell out. Can you come and get me? And he's like, oh, yeah, I can. <laughs> now I can. And he goes ahead, and he drives over and takes me to the dentist. And we managed to get it fixed. Kind of. We managed to get another temporary, and we thought, like, oh, the last one lasted six months, so this one will be fine for the trip we're going on for about three weeks, right? Like, six months, three weeks, it should work out fine. So they, this new dentist puts in a temporary, and we go on the trip, and then right after about the fourth day, like right around there of the trip, guess who decides to fall out? My tooth, which 
is now temporary decides it doesn't really want to stick right now and it just doesn't it just doesn't feel like it you know it's just had a bad day it doesn't want to so it goes ahead and falls out right in the middle of what we were doing and I'm like well that's an issue <laughs> And so I got, and so we went and we tried to get some remedies for it. We tried to get some cement so that we could put it back in, but that wasn't working. So I ended up going through the rest of the trip with a missing front tooth, which was great in some ways because whenever my dad took a picture of me, I could always ruin it, but just by going like, <laughs> so now we've got about five photos of me, it just, in my broken tooth. And yeah, surprisingly enough, those are the only two major injuries that I remember. Or at least, yeah, that I remember. I also played water polo for some amount of years, so it is relatively surprising that I didn't have anything major. I did have like one concussion once, but it wasn't super bad. I just ended up going home and being done with it. But it's kind of miraculous when you think about it, going through all those years and no serious injury. Sure hope I'm not jinxing myself, knock on wood off screen. <laughs> but anyways, let me know if you have any interesting injury stories in the comments below, or actually just follow any one of the prompts from the previous videos in the comments down below because I've been watching and you guys have not been following my prompts which makes me a little sad, so please follow them. Um, and yeah, let me know how you're doing even. But most of all, just don't get injured, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.